five on your health tonight. Protecting babies from an RSV infection before they uh, turn one could lower the risk of developing asthma. Here to talk about that, it is Friday. We always love talking to Dr. Simone Wilds, an infectious disease specialist at South Shore Health. Good to see you, Doctor. Hey, Dr. Wilds, happy Friday. So let's talk about this study published in The Lancet. How did researchers identify this link between RSV and asthma? So Ed, um, the researchers did a study called INSPIRE and they looked at about 2,000 infants in Tennessee and they assessed whether RSV infection in infancy was linked to asthma later in life. They did active testing um, of RSV on the children and then did follow up five years later. And what they found was that children who did not contract RSV early in life are less likely to get asthma as they get older. Interesting. Mm, yeah. So doctor, as you know, nearly all children in the U.S. are exposed to RSV by the time they turn two. So isn't it pretty much impossible for parents to protect their babies from this virus? So Maria, yes, RSV um, or respiratory syncytial virus is a very common viral illness that we see in infants and very contagious like we had seen this past winter. Um, and most cases are very mild, but in some instances, you can have severe illnesses. Um, you know, bottom line is very challenging to prevent it, but we do have, they're working on therapies and hopefully vaccines soon that can help us. Dr. Wild, several companies, as you know, are testing vaccines for RSV right now. So do you think it is possible that those shots could actually lower the risk of childhood asthma as well? You know, um, Ed, yes, the researchers have found that there is um, a about 15% uh, reduction in um, cases of asthma for children that have had RSV. So I think definitely this is something we'll be watching closely as the data becomes more available and we get these vaccines. Wonderful. All right, Dr. Simone Wilds, as always, we appreciate you. We thank you. Stay well. Great to see you, Dr. Okay. Wilds. Have a wonderful weekend. You too.